show you some stills, some pictures, okay? Now we want to know if they're pimped or they need some pimping. Show it to me. Is that cool? Show it to me. Now you know who that is. He crazy, cause I know who he is. <laughs> he don't want me asking me all them crazy questions when I come out here. He needs some help, bad. He needs some real help. Some psychiatric help. The fans actually love his interviews with you. They're like the favorite. They're always like, the Snoop Nardwires are the best. So we're gonna take a peek at, at, at um, an interview because he recently interviewed Blowfly. Oh, that's yes. my main man. Blowfly, yes. This and, is uh, the real McCoy. <laughs> Come on and join Blowfly's convoy. <laughs> See, we need to get caught up with all the old school stuff. Um, yeah. So we're going to take a look at his interview because he actually mentions you. So let's check it out. Who are you? The world baddest part nigger, part German, and part Indian. Blowfly. <laughs> <laughs> Blowfly, I think it's amazing, though. You are the original rapper. In fact, when I showed Snoop Doggy Dog one of your records, he stole it. Blowfly. Snoop, Blowfly, what can you tell the people about Blowfly? DJ Quick is down with Blowfly. Me too. Uh, Rap Dirty, Blowfly's Convoy, uh, the uh, Electronic Pussy, uh, uh, what else is on here? Sesame Street, Batman Sign, One Less Dick, Tom Jones Show. Blowfly is a legend, man. He was one of him and Rudy Ray Moore. Well, they had, they had records back in the days. They used to be at my house, and they used to be up under the uh, component set. And my moms would leave, I slap them on, listen to what they say, and just have a ball listening to them. Man, this is another record I'm taking from you. Actually, there's no album in that one. You'll just... Cool. I just need to cover. Why you know what you are, Snoop? You are a dysentery and bone burying, tick catching, police scratching, lice erasing, a hoe chasing, no growling, poor moon howling, no listen, fire drum pissing, no barking, bone hocking, collar carrying, hound, marin cat beating, that boy eating, poor excuse for manger mutt, my, my nigga Snoop. He stole my Blowfly record, <laughs> but he called you a legend. You're a legend to Snoop Doggy Dog there, Blowfly, and many others. And he a legend to me, too. Speaking of dirty things, Snoop Doggy Dog, Blowfly, you finally met him. Years ago, here at the Minnesota Hotel in 2002, I showed you my Blowfly record, which you took. I had to take it because, I mean, Blowfly, Clarence Reed is a favorite of mine, and he's been in my household since I was a kid, so I finally fucking met him. You know, via you putting me back in the world of loving Blowfly again. I met Tom, Uncle Tom, his drummer. And um, he came to my show and he hung out with me for about four or five hours. And we just had a great time. He talked to me, he rapped to me, he talked shit about everybody that was with me. I mean, he was just the guy that I thought he was. Blowfly, who has sampled you? We have some artists here on the wall. Ice Cube has sampled you, right? Yep, yep. And he one of my favorite guys. I got a check before I even know what it was for. Six grand for more of what I can do or what can I do. What the hell is this? Then I find out it was from one of my records, you know, good guy. And, and uh, Because people don't always tell you that they're sampling no, you, right? Uh-uh, uh-uh. And uh, the Wung Tang Clan, I call them the Poon Tang Clan here. And my guy, Jurassic Five, I told them they got their start by butt-fucking dinosaurs and shit. And they sampled you on quality control. Yeah, they're big hit. Control. Yep, big hit. Quality made the charts and stuff. And another artist that sampled you, DJ Quick, as well. Yeah, DJ Quick. I know why they call you Quick. Your girlfriend named me that because you're coming about two seconds, dog. Baboom. <laughs> Baboom. I was curious there, DJ Quick. What can you tell us about Blowfly here? This is, is this the idol. first oh, rapper? This is my idol. Of course oh. he is. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have never wrote Black. Can y'all edit? Yes. I wouldn't have never wrote Sweet Black Pussy had I not heard this guy. Wow. Weird world. And how do you, this, this is pristine, man. That's a reissue of Blowfly. So what can you tell the people about Blowfly and the influence on DJ Quick? Blowfly might be my uncle or something. He like started rap. He claims he started rap. Um, in a sense he did. I mean, because he was doing it like, like early 70s. Like, like when we get whoopings for listening to these records, he yeah, was doing 30. it then. You know what I mean? And then Curtis Blow came out. That was like the second rapper I knew about. But Blowfly was the first rapper I ever heard. What do your contemporaries think of you there, Blowfly? Jimmy J.J. Walker, he called you a low comic. Oh! Gentlemen, right? What is this? Blowfly! I do know Blowfly, actually. And uh, he's a guy that uh, is a pretty low comic. He's lower than Red Fox, actually. And I do know this guy. He's been around for a long time. And... Uh, he does kind of a X-rated kind of humor. Not for me. Thank you. How do you deal with that when people call you a low comic? <laughs> people call you what they are. He ain't been on but one TV show. Donald Mike! Weird Al, have you interacted with any weird people at all? 
Not so far in my life, but I'm looking forward to it. If you know any weird people, you know, give them my uh, email address. Well, this is what I was wondering about. This particular weird person, Blowfly. Are Blow you fly. from? What can you I tell? I used to shave his uncle. What can you tell the people about Blowfly? He is on Weird World Record. Uh-huh. I, I, I've, uh huh. I've I haven't heard a lot of Blowfly's material, but I've heard him described as an X-rated Weird Al Yankovic. Which I was wondering about. Would you ever do any weird parodies? Would you ever do any weird X-rated parodies? Or have you done them weird out? But, but then people would confuse me with Blowfly. And, you know, we, we get confused on the street all the time. You know, a lot of times I'd be walking down the street and people go, Hey, Blowfly! And I go, No, no, no. Blowfly looks like this. I, I bring this album cover along with me so I can show the difference. This is me. This is Blowfly. And this is Blowfly's friend. But they do have some similarities. They do. Al and Blowfly do Blowfly. have some similarities, don't they, Al? Yes, less than a syllable apart. Well, the similarities, for instance, Blowfly takes a song, Sitting on the Dock of the... Bay? And turns it into Shitting on the... Dock? Of the... Bay? He got in big trouble from Otis Wedding's Rife, but then, believe it or not, you know what happened? Well, what happened to Otis Wedding's Rife? Well, a Blowfly was able to show a picture of him and Otis Redding together, and everything was, you know, okay. You can do anything with Photoshop these days. Weird Al, Blowfly has a message for you. I contacted Blowfly, and he has a message for you. Let's hear it right now. This is Blowfly's message, Weird Al. Al, would you do a split single with us and finally unite the two weird parody artists? He did not say that. Yes, he did. Give me, let me see that. He did, right there, right there. I contacted You're Blowfly. You're right. You're right. I contacted Blowfly. So would you like to address Blowfly at all? Blowfly, have your peeps talk to my peeps. We'll do lunch. Well, your fans out there, I'll leave you with this. And do do the loot do. Fuck you! <laughs> a lot of times with, with Nawar, there's a rumor going around that you take some records from him. I steal something from him every time I see him. Okay, well, well, unfortunately, this time he couldn't hook up with you. So what he did is he sent us an original record for you, man. Oh, I'm taking that. <laughs> you said you're a blowfly. That's cool. Oh, it got my song on it. See, that's the song I was just singing, Convoy. And okay. when he say, this is the real McCoy, come on and join Blowfly's Convoy. <laughs> we got to put that on in the break or something. Anyway, we're going nice. to check out some news. Stick around. Snoop Dogg performing a little bit later. Cute, Cute. Church.